Battlebox is a subscription service that focuses around the tactical community or even more of your field craft survival. Uh, it just has a wide range of different items, but especially for the prepper. I mean, to me, this is a great box to get. Uh, we've done a number of reviews on the Battlebox. It's been a while. Uh, but Battlebox got in touch with me and they said, hey, you know, we'd like for you to do some more reviews for us. And so I said, let's do it about once a quarter. And so we're going to bring a Battlebox review to you about once every three months and just check out all the different gear. But guys, to me, the Battlebox is one of the best subscription services for tactical EDC survival that's out on the market. They're down in Georgia, so they're close enough. And we really appreciate Battlebox for sponsoring this video to bring to you guys. And we're going to show you a lot of cool stuff. All right, we got the battle box. We're going to go ahead and open it up. Inside, we have a lot of cool gear. Uh, this is really a big upgrade. Mission Brief 89. Go ahead and take a look. Well, I don't want to get into all the details, but this has a lot of information. And so uh, we're going to take a look and see. I mean, this gives you all the descriptions in this little pamphlet. This is really well done. Even here on the back, you've got a QR code where you can scan this to be eligible for monthly giveaways on BattleBox.com. All right, we're going to break all this out. And we're going to take a look at it. And we're going to test it out. All right, here's all the gear pulled out. It looks like some really interesting stuff. Um, headlamps, a couple of knives, plugs. We're going to go through each one. We're going to check them out, and then we're going to test them. Now we're going to start out with the Battle Bandage. Uh, and this is from Rescue Essentials. Uh, and guys, honestly, if you're in the outdoors, for that matter, in your vehicle or anywhere else, you know, you have a good chance of having to treat yourself for medical or those you love. And so we're going to take a look at the Battle Bandage. And right here, there's a really quick, easy tab to open, which is important. So we're just going to go ahead and open it up. Now this is a two-piece system, so we're going to open this. It has an adhesive right here, and then that protects it, it seals it, and this is medical grade. And then, of course, that's pretty cool. They've got a, uh, a little roller here for your tape to be able to get that, even in larger areas. And big letters, remove, and you have an arrow. So you just pull this and open it up, and that's your soft bandage. And so that's going to help you <laughs> not to get that really strong adhesive on your skin. And it has this little white area so you can pull this off if it gets stuck. And then here it opens up. And so this is going to be great for, you know, protecting, especially if you have blood loss. You can pack this in. It's going to help. And then you can put a, some pressure on it by putting this tape and you can wrap it around the wound. Now, while we don't have a convenient injury, the best thing to do is to identify where the wound is. I'm going to bring this around. Get this other side started first and then you can apply pressure and that's one of the big things about wound care is getting that pressure not too tight because you don't want to cut off blood circulation but you can wrap this up and i mean there's quite a bit of tape here to be able to wrap that up and then if you want you can just go ahead and cut this off which you're going to do and you've actually got more tape and then we can just seal this up and that way Whatever wound it is, you've got it protected, and then you've got it sealed, you've got some pressure on it, so it's gonna help to stop the bleeding. It's a pretty cool system. One thing too I like about it is when you pull this off, the adhesive just sticks to it. It doesn't make it super sticky. So you're able to pull this off without making a big mess. And even with the hair on my arms, it didn't rip the hair off. And the Battle Bandage retails for $18.58. Next is the Pocket Shot. This says the evolution of the slingshot. So we're going to check this out and get it open. Now we have a rubberized material here, and this is what you stretch. Um, inside we have a compartment. We're going to open that up. And then there are ball bearings in here already supplied, so we're going to have a little fun with this. You just drop your ball bearing down here, you grab hold of it, pull back, and then you let it go. And we're going to test this out and see how it works. One thing they do say is to keep this in a cool, dry place because this rubberized material can dry out. Uh, when you're finished, drop your ball bearings back into the sleeve and then just close it up. And so it's a contained area. One thing I like is this collar. It allows you to get your fingers around it without slipping. So when you pull it, you're going to be able to fire those ball bearings. Uh, this is going to take some skill over time, but uh, I think it's going to be fun. Now you take your ball bearing, just drop it in, and you can feel it in the bottom. And so then you just pull it, 
and then it just comes out this large end, almost like a blunderbuss. We'll see how it does. Gives it quite a wallet too. I think if you really got really a proficient with this, uh, having to shoot a lot of ball bearings, I think you'd get really good at it. And some of the even larger ball bearings would be good. But I'll tell you, see how far it'll go. <laughs> this thing goes for miles. Not literally, but it goes for a long way. Let's try one more time, see if we can miss a tree. I'll, I'll be honest, that goes about 75 yards, just pulling it here, and I didn't pull it as far back as I could. Could be. I mean, the big thing is with this is you just need to practice with it, but uh, it's pretty cool, actually. I love the fact, too, that you just take the ball bearings, drop them in, you got a cap for it, so you've got your ammunition and everything just right here, and it packs down pretty nice. In fact, I could pack it down like this, slip it in my pack. Very small little footprint. Now this is the size of ball bearing. I, I'm sure you can go larger. You don't want to go like with BBs. They can actually tear because they're so small. So you want to go with something at least about this size. I'd say that's about six to seven millimeters. That's cool. And that ring, it really helps you to hold on to it. You can stretch this back a good bit. I'll tell you that I've seen these around, but that's pretty impressive. And the pocket shot is made right here in the USA and it runs $24.95. Next is the Decibels custom molded earplugs. Uh, and these you heat and you shape and it has a noise reduction rating of 31 decibels uh, This is great for firearms. Of course, uh, you know loud machinery um, Even if you have friends that snore and they're spending the night and I have actually used earplugs for that very reason These are moldable, but they are remoldable and it comes in four different colors uh, You can get black orange green or blue. What's funny is I just purchased some decibels to check them out and these are made in the USA, and so we're going to shape them and see how they work. Now what you get in the box, open it up, you get some small plugs, you get some little bit larger plugs, and you get the moldable material. And you get a small little case that goes with it with full instructions. So it says heat and shape. Now we filled these up. Uh, we have these filled up with water. It says three to four inches. And we want to bring this water to a boil. Do not put your earplugs in here first. You want to do that after this comes to a boil. And yes, you want to do two separate mugs. Now the plugs are hard. I mean, it's like hard plastic. And so it's going to take that really hot water to be able to soften these up. And of course, they're just open. You don't want to put your little earpiece in there until you're ready to get a little foam. They give you a number of different plug types to be able to go in there. This is on the outside, but you have one in a separate package. Then you have these flange type. I like that the best. And different sizes for different ear canals. Now before you put it in the water, you want to go ahead and put this plug in this side. And this is the identification. This is on the outside. And then one of the silicone plugs here, not the foam plugs. So once we get that in place, then we're going to drop this in the water. Just drop them in there. They're going to sit for five minutes. Now you want to take a metal spoon to pull these out with. Plastic may stick. Now you want to dry them off a little bit. Make sure they're facing the right direction. And then just put them in your ear. And then begin just to press down and mold it. If you're not very malleable, then you're going to want to heat it some more. And the good thing is you can reheat these. Take the other one, put it in. You just start pressing it down. You can feel it pressing into your ear. To make sure it's kind of a smooth with your finger and it just molds to your ear now once you get this molded in you want to leave it in for about five minutes and then every 30 seconds or so just take and push shape it and it will mold specifically to your ear so we'll find out we're going to do a little test i have the psa rock 57 this is 57 by 28 it's known to be pretty loud we're just going to shoot off about five rounds and just see how it does.
very comfortable in the ear definitely uh, keeps that sound down I like them I like plugs myself I mean I'm a, I'm a big fan of earplugs uh, especially when shooting rifle I don't have to do that in the hot summertime you don't have all those big earmuffs on so working good I really like these and here's after I've molded them tested them and uh, they fit just really nice uh, and of course if this shape isn't right and of course it's a little bit different uh, you know you can just reheat these and shape them again so that's a pretty cool system and you can change out your different plugs here for the different ones so I really like this I mean these things are they're lightweight and they really do protect your ears well and the decibels custom molded earplugs $25.99 made in the USA right there on the box now this is what you get in the basic box uh, it runs $34.99 and the value is $69.44. Now we have the Dead Fish Winge Alpine Foldable Chef's Knife. Wow, that's pretty large. <laughs> and this is going to be great for preparing food, uh, maybe even at home, but definitely in the outdoors. Uh, put this in your go bag and you can prepare food, go camping, if you're out hiking, or if you're just outside in your garden and you want to go ahead and eat something really fast. Man, that's a nice little cleaver. Has this little hole here to be able to pull this up. Uh, liner lock, and we have wood scales. Stainless steel EN4116 steel. Open design in the back, so it's going to be easy to clean. And you have your Dead Fish logo on here. Man, that thing is really a beautiful knife. A little more of the standard tradition or bushcraft, but this is going to be excellent for food prep decent size spine as well it's four and a quarter inch blade overall it's ten and a quarter inches foldable pack that down just put this with your kit and you're ready to go I like that chul right there too because you can really get detail if you need to especially with smaller stuff all right we're gonna try this lemon out I mean that's really a really nice large knife and it cuts very well Of course, I've got my lemons and my don't tread on me mug. Man, that's going to be good stuff. Oh yeah, I'm ready to put that on my sandwich. Now add this to the initial three items and you have your advanced box. So this is $59.99. So combined total of the four items is $129.47. And the advanced monthly subscription fee is $64.99. So that's a pretty decent savings. And you get this really cool knife. That's just a little bit over the price of just this knife. Next is the Nikron H35. Uh, this is a headlamp. Uh, they say twin engines. It's rechargeable. 1600 lumens. Has an 18650 rechargeable battery inside. So we're going to check this out. All right, so here we have the headlamp. Uh, we have the headband. We have instructions. Uh, this is the warning that there is a small little blocker to keep the battery and the light from coming on. And you have your charging cable. Let's go ahead and open it up. Yeah, there's your little blocker. Just make sure you remove that. There's your 18650 battery, 2600 milliamp, 3.6 volt. It has a 180 degree radius. And uh, you can feel the little gears as you turn it. So it's going to lock it into wherever you stop. And we're going to go ahead and apply the headband. Here we have these little slots, so you're able just to put this on without any kind of uh, removing anything, buckles, removing different things that make it a pain. And this really nice neoprene little headband, this is going to be very comfortable to wear. Now we also have an upper piece that will fit over the top of your head, and you'll need just to put that through when you do. And then it clips right down in here. Now we have spotlight here, and we have flood here and you can run either one or you can run both. And so here is your control panel and what you do is hold and press and then it has the light on. And then you just click, click, and it goes through the different modes. 
and you can see that 1600 lumens is just incredibly bright and then press and hold and it'll shut off on the other side press and hold now you have your floodlight and then again you can go through the modes man that's just freaking bright and then we go through all the modes press and hold to shut it off now if you have it in the off position and you hit the button right here just hit it now you have red light you hit it again it goes to blinking and then of course it'll just cut off now if I just click it'll go into a flashing light and so that's just a signaling light and so I can just go to it and that's just a good feature especially for rescue and then just press and hold and it'll shut off if you want both lights on press and hold press and hold and then you have both of your lights on at the same time now that's going to run your battery life down and so you know that's just up to you in case you need that light for recharging right here we have our charging port at the bottom and again you have your cable plug this in and then just put this into any USB I like that better than hooking it into the battery I don't have to pull the battery in and out and this cover is going to keep it somewhat watertight in fact it's IP68 and so it's really ne not necessarily submersible, but if you get a lot of water on it and rain, uh, it will be fine. And it is drop resistant up to one meter. It'll go two hours on the high setting and 30 hours on the lowest setting. And here we are with the lowest setting on the spotlight. And now we're going with the highest setting. And then it just drops down. And then press and hold. It's a much more intense beam. You have more of a hot spot with the spotlight. Flood, much broader beam. Then we're going higher, lower, lower, and then down to the lowest. And then with red, I mean a decent amount of red light. And then you press it again and it goes into its blinking light. Okay, here is the spotlight along with the flood. And it just gives it both gives you the, the broad beam and then it gives you that hot spot as well. And then if you just click on the white, it'll be a blinking light. Three blinks. So here we've got it where we can just turn this up and down. Really nice hands-free option. I can set it at the angle I need if I need something in front of my hands. Now the price on the Nikron H35 is $69.99. This completes the pro level of the last four items that we've shown. And so the total value is $199.46. The Pro Box subscription is $119.99. Now this is the M3 Tactical M3 Force Recon. And it is a fixed blade knife made right here in the USA. That's a nice Kydex sheath and this is attachable with those grommets to your gear uh, through paracord. Pull it out. Man. That is one more knife. Even has a small little uh, ring to be able to get a hold of it and hold on to it. Uh, this is designed as a fighting knife by Hunter Thornhill, uh, who is a renowned knife fighter. And uh, this is just a beautiful knife. Uh, full tang all the way through, jimping on the top, G10 scales, CPM D2 steel, which is excellent tool steel. It's going to keep a very sharp edge. Nice point, but yet it's not weak. Look at that spine, how thick it is, and then it comes down to a nice point. Drop point blade. Beautiful finish on it. The G10 scales, very nice. You have texturing that goes all around the ring. You can also use that as a defensive tool as well. But this is absolutely a beautiful knife. It's 7.875 inches in length, and the blade length is 3.375 inches. Now this is a BattleBox exclusive, and that means they're getting these first. So these have just come out. And M3 Tactical makes some really high quality gear. So we're going to take this, and we're going to test it out. Uh, we're not going to be doing any knife fighting, <laughs> because I can promise you this, you'll get cut. But that'll make it an excellent tool for your tactical gear locks in really solid in that sheath. With a pinky, it's gonna give you a lot of stability. You're not gonna lose the knife if you happen to, to lose your grip.
but also you can take it and go overhand like this so it allows you to get that ring right there on it so uh, the karambit's nice but it's curved in and i think this may be a little bit useful for more multiple uses but um you know just have to see how that works but it seems to be a very good piercer and uh, as far as sharpness i mean super freaking sharp right out of the box and that d2 steel is going to retain its sharpness yeah very handy very movable i mean it just feels like an extension of your hand and again you can just switch that around go to different places yeah that's that is a pretty cool knife system and the price of the M3 Tactical M3 Force Recon is $189.99. And this completes the Pro Plus box, along with all the other items that we've shown. So guys, Battle Box Mission 89. Uh, man, this was a very impressive box. A lot of cool stuff in this. Uh, the total price for all this stuff separately is $389.32. Considering this is the Pro Plus with all this stuff, it's $199.46. That's almost half price, and you're getting some really high quality stuff. And again, you've got just the basic, you've got the advanced, then you've got the pro, and then the pro plus. So you can go with whatever you want to go with and still save money. Also, they do have a store on the website where a lot of these items where they have overruns, they put them on there for sale at discount prices. That's a great place to check out. And one thing that really surprised me is the number of subscribers that they have. I mean, it is thousands upon thousands of people. And I found out what their subscriber base was. It was really astounding. There's a lot of people that love these boxes, and I understand why. Now, this video is sponsored by BattleBox. And BattleBox is one of those subscription services that, to me, is the best for survival and tactical items. It starts out at $34.99 a month with their basic box. And then they had the Advanced, the Pro, and the Pro Plus, which really brings out some great quality gear. And the value is always much higher than the price of the box. And you can switch out your levels uh, each month if you want. But we have really enjoyed Battle Box and all the reviews that we've done. It's just always surprising to see what kind of gear you're gonna get. Sometimes it's really high quality gear that you go, oh, I've been wanting that. And sometimes it's like, what is that? That is really cool. So check out Battle Box. Again, if you're looking for a subscription service and you wanna up your survival tactical game, BattleBox is a great way to do it. And you can find this at BattleBox.com. And again, we really appreciate BattleBox for sending this month's subscription. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Looked over. Bam. Once you put your ball bearing in here, though, you grasp, you grab it. <laughs> you grab it, you grisp it. And now I've got a mustache.